So as we leave the confines of Crook, and having been on the route, or part of the route, certainly more than half of the route, that I used to ride with my granddad, we're now going to head further up into Weirdale. Now, I mentioned the Italian ice cream. Well, believe it or not, and not a lot of people will know. And I don't know if I can get in, but I'm going to have a go. No, you can't get in. Behind those trees there, you can just see them there, and there. Through there. That's a prisoner of war camp. An Italian prisoner of war camp. I wonder if that's why the connection for the Italian ice cream in Crook years later. Now back in the day when my parents were together the mode of transport was a minivan and in the back of the minivan it had seats so we could all get out and about and one day whilst in the minivan we were tootling along here and one of the manhole covers right there was sticking out and my dad drove straight over the top of it and shattered the suspension we had to pull into that lay by there and wait to be rescued recovered oh I, I can't remember exactly what happened afterwards but I remember that part very very well indeed the little green minivan And shattering the suspension. A couple of stories now as we get through the centre of Walsingham. It's just a little bit further up here on the right. My grandfather came with me and my dad to look at another BSA Bantam. And it was in a garage behind those houses there he didn't buy it because he didn't think it was very good but we went behind those houses to look at the to look at the bantam and then the next piece of fame that Wolsingham has is on the right here is Wolsingham school but it used to be Wolsingham grammar school and it's the school that my mum went to and who got into trouble there she was passing sexy notes in class and got found out cafe in Weirdale owned and operated by a guy who does the Isle of Man TT Ian Pixie Patterson what a nice guy but we're continuing now having got our sustenance, our burger, our cup of coffee and our Mr. Whippy ice cream from a machine that's 65 years old and the story goes that the owners then took a van 
drove all the way to Italy to buy the machine and brought it back and the machine has been in the same place in that cafe ever since that's just meant that's history for you and as Ian told me he said it's a little bit temperamental well who isn't if the 65 year old Isn't it just beautiful countryside? Absolutely beautiful countryside. Now we have a story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. The area that you're riding through now used to be grey. The whole area used to be grey. And the reason being is uh, they've closed the gates now so you can't get in. This area here This area here, all this area, used to be a cement works and ended up being Lafarge Cement Works. The Weirdale Redevelopment Project. Well, that isn't getting off the ground. But up on the tops up there, there used to be pipes, there used to be a big works here that, no. Oh, produced cement dust you know the bags of cement dust that you buy with Lafarge on there's a damn good possibility they used to come from here back in the day so because of that all of this area for miles around used to be grey because of the dust coming out of the chimneys and all of these poor trees well, I never saw leaves on them as a kid. They were just, they were just dead. 